Mid Autumn Bliss in the garden. Okay, we're in the second week of April and the third month of figs. These are the last figs before we um, are done. So there's a few left. On the fig tree, on both fig trees, this one and that one there. This one's actually just about done. Next we have the pineapple guava tree, which is the feyoa. And they're starting to ripen. I just had one, a real big one, bigger than this. And this year looks like it's going to be the best year of all. Um, Size-wise, they're going to be pretty big, and they'll be coming at the end of uh, May, beginning of June. So that's the um, feyoa or um, pineapple guava, a favorite for the end of um, autumn. Here we have the persimmons, which are ready now. They just started coming a couple of weeks ago, usually end of March, beginning of uh, April. And these keep coming, or keep ripening, until the end of May. A great uh, in-between crop between the um, figs and the guavas. So. That's the persimmon. Here we have the uh, early orange. George Washington Naval. This one is um, first cab off the rank in May so another month and these guys will start being uh, ready to pick I've already had a couple they fall on the ground and uh, yeah this one is really good so May and June of uh, early oranges for uh, autumn late autumn These are the early mandarins which come in May and they're starting to turn color already and they're quite big. These are called uh, Japanese mandarins and they're really really sweet. This one here will probably be the first one that we'll have in May and this is only uh, a dwarf in a, a pot. Right, these are um, the newest bananas which are coming now they'll be ready in winter this flower just opened a couple of days ago and yeah should be ready around uh, August September end of winter beginning of spring this is the Ducassi variety yeah whilst we're waiting for the uh, the new bananas to come in about five months we have these guys Rajapuri that are fully mature and almost uh, ready to ripen I'll be pulling these down over the next week or two and uh, these are nice and fat Rajapuri homegrown bananas in Melbourne and next to them I have another banana growing this one here there's actually a, many bananas growing as far as plants go but only a few flower through the year and this is uh, the newest flower coming it's gonna be opening within the next week mid-April and 
and that one will probably be ready in spring. It's a big one. Check out how tall the plant is. At least uh, five meters. Another popular fruit in autumn is the uh, avocado. And we've got a few of them still left from summer. All different sizes. So yeah, these are pretty good for summer and autumn. Homegrown avocado in Melbourne. Not a problem. And of course, we can't forget the lemon tree. These lemons come all year round. Winter, summer, spring, and of course now in autumn. Bumper crop every year on this 25 year old lemon tree. We can't even keep up with it. Yeah, so plant your trees early guys. This is what you'll have after 20 years. Not even 20 years. More like 10 years. Another all year favorite is the lime. And as you can see, they stay on the tree just fine. Nature's own storage. And uh, this tree is only seven years old. And yet, it's packed all year with fresh limes. Tahitian variety. Lime trees, lemon trees, orange trees, tangelos, pomelos, mandarins. They do brilliantly in the coldest city of Australia, Melbourne. Get planting.